Thank you, sir. Thank you for allowing me to participate in the governor's address and also to support the motion of thanks that has been moved by Honorable Member Ba Sotun. Sir, due to paucity of time, I cannot touch each and every department, otherwise I would love to do so. But I want to select few departments which I want to uh, participate in this governor's address. And before I do that, I must thank the governor for uh, delivering his address amid his limitation, uh, which we expect from him, but he has done his best to deliver his speech. Sir, I want to start with the CNRD block. I must thank the government, MDA government, that they have that we have created many blocks, new blocks in the entire state of Meghalaya, that we have now the num up to 55 numbers of blocks in the state of Meghalaya. We have seen there are some constituency who have the privilege, who had the privilege to have two, three blocks in each constituency as well. Sir, on this department, I just want to put a request to our government to see in some district, like Southwest Hills District, where we have two, two constituency and we have only two blocks. There are some area which is very far, which is far from Mokrat block, <coughs> as well as very far from Ranikor block, and due to the road connectivity also not good. So people are facing problem to go to either uh, Mokrat or uh, Ranikor block. <coughs> Sir, we need to create new one new CNRD block office in the district of Southwest Kasa Hill by taking some part of Ranikor constituency and some part of Mokrat constituency. <coughs> so I want to put this uh, on record and I request our government, my government, to see that this thing can be considered for to bring the administration closer to people by having one by having one more block in the district of Samuel Kasihin. Sir, I want to come to health and family welfare. In fact, I would expect that the government will proclaim the success story of being able to start the 100 bedded hospital at Mokarwat but somehow it has missed from this uh, governor's address. But sir, as a member from Mokrat Kurunsi, I want to praise the government. The last government, MDA government, has uh, done the big job by starting the 100 budget at Mokrat that we have now and is fully functional now. But sir, I want to remind everybody here in this Akos house that because it is just started just few months back we have just started this hospital need a special care from the government need a special care from the department because we still need to have many posts to sanction <coughs> we still have to furnish we still have to procure the equipment to see that this hospital can fully function full fledgedly by supplying all the requirements of this new hospital. So sir, this also is my request that uh, this uh, 100 bedded hospital, the civil hospital that we have started at Mokrawat at the headquarters of Southwest Kasa Hills to be taken care by this government. Sir, I want to come to sports and youth affairs. I'm very happy to see that in Mekhalaya we have now the Mekhalaya Youth Policy 2021. And we have seen also the program to uh, help the youth in different programs like Aspire program, for which I myself had witnessed several times in such kind of program. And I have seen it really helps the people, especially the people, the young people from the rural areas, it really helps. But while witnessing this program, I have seen the need that we really need in Mekhalaya more infrastructure to really help the youth to participate in this program. I have seen we still need many good we need more, better infrastructure in the state of Mekhalaya. And I want to highlight here that in our district, Southwest Hills, we don't have the multi-sport complex. 
So I want to uh, state here that we need in the district, and especially at Mokobat being the district headquarters, district headquarters, to have one multi-sport complex. I really appreciate to see the government, the government, M the MDA government one has able to construct many multi-sport complex in many places, and we expect that Mokorwat also, being the district reporter, we will get one multi-sport complex. Sir, I want to go to tourism. I'm very happy to see the successful story of this government that we have had now in the state of Mekhalaya at one time on the same year, we have had now two five-star hotels, which have never been before. It's really a great success that we should be happy to see a milestone, a different milestone in the state of Mekhalaya to have five-star hotel. And I'm very happy to see also the, uh, the tourists that has come in Mekhalaya, and even to know the accommodation in those hotels that most of the time they are fully accommodated. So that it, it shows that the tourist has increased, the tourist footfalls, footfalls has increased in the state of Mekalia. Sir, I want to recall the sweet memory of everybody that our honorable chief minister of MDA1 as well as honorable chief minister of MDA2, the same. He had made the commitment to the people of Southwest Cass Hills to promote tourism in Southwest Cass Hills. I'm very, very happy. I discussed with him several times how to promote tourism in Southwest Cass Hills. And he has also committed not less than 200 crores to sanction for Southwest Cass Hills. And we had also a discussion, and I have seen his vision, his dream, how to bring a world-class resort in Southwest Cass Hills by using hot spring that we have. We are blessed by hot spring uh, at Jakram or particularly at Laubele and uh, Umjalan village, where we have the hot spring. We can really utilize this hot spring to have that world-class resort in our district, sir. Sir, because of time, I have to rush, and I will go now to public work department. This department, we all know, and we agree with the first line of this governor's address that road are the backbone of the economy of the state. And I want to appreciate the job that has been done by the department under the leadership of our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, who has been able to complete so many roads in this tenure of five years. And now we have begun again. Sir, we still look to the department and to the able leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister to see that we are improved we can do more and more on road sectors. I want to especially thank the government for being able to sanction the very important road from Mauplang to Weiloy. Under RIDF 28, the government has sanctioned and now the work has started. I'm very, very happy and I thank the government for all this successful story that they have created in the last government. Sir, but I still want to remind everybody that we still need to connect with Court Road to the district headquarters. And I really request the government to consider uh, as early as possible to sanction the road from Weiloy to Maukurwat, which I uh, already known that the government is considering actively to sanction the road from Weiloy to Maukurwat to ensure that we have a Court Road to reach to the district headquarters. Uh, sir, once again, I want to appreciate the government and I really hope that this government now will ensure the people, everybody who go to the services here to get to go through a better road. I'm very happy to see that the intermediate land road will be completed as soon as possible from Mauklang to, to Weiloy. Sir, I will come to the last department, commerce and industry. I will, I'm very happy to see the vision of the government to have many, as many as possible, industrial park, <coughs> industrial estate in the state of Mekalea. The government has, uh, has acquired land for industrial park, for industrial estate in the state in different parts of Mekalea. I am very happy to inform the House 
that the government has also acquired land in southwest Kaza Hills, which has never been before. We have the land which has been acquired for the purpose of having industrial park, industrial estate in southwest Kaza Hills. My request here is that let us initiate, I hope the Department of Commerce and Industry to initiate for the implementation, for the use of this land that the government has just acquired recently. So this is my request to the department and to the government as a whole, sir, that we will use so that the asset that the government has taken will not just be lying idle, but will be utilized for the benefit of the people uh, at large. With this few words, sir, I resume my seat. Thank you. Thank you. But give in million, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. I also rise to participate in the motion of thanks to the governor's address. So due to paucity of time, I do not propose to take much of the time. I shall raise only some of the issues which I consider most important. So when I, when, when I learned through the governor's address, I'm very happy to see that the government is focused on improving the core sectors like the health, education, physical infrastructures, and also improving the rural livelihoods of our rural populace. And I'm very hopeful that with these interventions, the people of our beloved state will greatly benefit. So under the Health and Family Welfare Department, of course, sir, the introduction of the Meghalaya State Health Policy 2021, whose aim is to improve the health systems in the state and also the improvement of various health infrastructures across the state, clearly signifies the importance that the state government has laid on this particular sector. We could also see, sir, that the formation of the village health councils also allow the communities to play a vital role to address the health issues on the ground level. I am therefore very hopeful that with these programs in place, the health parameters in the state will improve gradually in the future. Like what the honorable members of this August House has said earlier, I would also like to take this opportunity to urge a government to explore ways and means to increase incentives paid to our ASHA workers, considering their role, their dedication, and their contribution to the society as a whole. Under the education sector, sir, of course, this particular sector is of primary importance to the youth of the state and also to the future growth of our state. Of course, we could see that the enhancement of salaries to ad hoc teachers, the plans for streamlining the payment of salaries to SSA teachers, the infrastructure upgradation of various schools, and also the setting up of people's colleges across the state are some of the critical steps taken by the government which have helped tremendously in improving the standards of education in our state. However, this sector has proved to be one of the most difficult sectors to improve, not only in our state, but perhaps in all the states in the country. There are so many issues which still remain unresolved and for which solutions would need to be found most urgently. We have no time to lose if we have to act in the interests of the successive generations of our students who are still in the educational system at present. I would humbly suggest that the government may constitute a high-powered panel under the chairmanship of the Honorable Minister of Education and consisting of experts in the educational field to make suggestions in some of the core issues which plague this sector, such as the availability of Trained, trained teachers, inspection of schools, locating adequate resources as per the needs of, for the sector. And the government may also fix 
an urgent time frame for this panel to submit its recommendations, which could even be phased out so as to save the precious time for our student community. I would, for my last point in this sector, would like to express my deep gratitude to the government for finally sanctioning the proposal to have both a science and commerce stream in Sora Government College. This welcome step will greatly benefit not only the students of the area who desire to pursue the degree level education in these two important streams, but also will economically benefit the families involved. Under the tourism sector, I'm very happy that the government has recently approved the tourism policy, which aims to position Meghalaya as a preferred tourism destination. And this will greatly benefit the people of the state, especially in terms of generating employment for our unemployed youths. I would, however, strongly urge the government to kindly ensure a mechanism of maximizing revenue towards our local individuals and local enterprises. And these should be inbuilt in the schemes themselves for implementation on the ground. Under the community and rural development, of course, uh, the implementation of the MGNRGS in our state is something which should really be appreciated. As you could see that Meghalaya is one of the best performing states in the country and the government can improve its performance further by looking into the delay which occurs in the release of payments towards vendors who supply the materials under the scheme. Under the power sector, sir, when we speak of power, we all do understand that especially in today's modern world, electricity has to be considered as an essential service. In the governor's address, we could see that the government is planning to strengthen and modernize the power sector across the state. Of course, sir, it's a known fact that the frequent disruption of power supply in rural areas is one of the major problems faced by our rural populace. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to urge the government to kindly give this matter its highest priority. Under the Labor Department, sir, we could see that around 91,600 building and construction workers have been registered across the state. However, I believe that still a lot of workers have not been registered yet. Given the advantages of such registration, I would like to urge the government to kindly undertake a well thought out publicity campaign in the entire state so that all the eligible construction workers are duly registered. Sir, so, I've just touched only a few sectors which I personally consider critical and important. However, an all-round de development has taken in all the relevant sectors of the state. So with these few submissions, I would once again express my gratitude for the address made by the Honorable Governor. Thank you, sir. Thank you.